An administration reconnaissance video demonstrates a couple of U.S. traditions and border protection officers urging a Mexican kid to drink fluid meth, until he kicked the bucket from a hard failure. 16-year-old secondary school understudy Cruz Velasquez endured a horrifying demise, while made to drink fluid methamphetamine before chuckling specialists to demonstrate that he was just conveying juice. The high school tranquilized donkey kicked the bucket inside two hours of drinking the yellow fluid that was veiled as squeezed apple. Unknown reports. The video was acquired for the current week by ABC and it altogether negates the operator's announcements asserting the kid drank the meth all alone. The kid, 16-year-old Cruz Velasquez, passed on inside two hours of drinking the concentrated fluid meth. Be that as it may, the two officers, Valerie Baird and Adrian Paralan, who tempted him to drink it stay at work today and never confronted disciplinary activity. As per ABC, a previous head of interior undertakings at U.S. Traditions and Border Protection, James Tomshek, disclosed to ABC News that two officers disregarded organization conventions by enabling the young fellow to drink from the jug, and that he was told at the time they would be rebuffed. On the off chance that they really suspected there was a controlled substance in the jug, Tomshek stated, they should have led a field test. Nonetheless, there was no field test. Rather, the officers utilized a human young person as their guinea pig and it cost him his life. Medication sneaking isn't right and is wrongdoing, yet this high school kid did not merit a capital punishment, Representative Zoe Lofgren. The positioning part on the House Subcommittee on Immigration and Border Security disclosed to ABC News. For CBP officers to exact an outline capital punishment is improper as well as unlawful. Rep. Benny Thompson, the positioning individual from the House Homeland Security Committee concurred with Lofgren. See also, Apollo crew had to go through customs upon return. Altogether for CBP officers to avert sneaking guarantee open well-being, and do their troublesome employment at the fringe legitimately, CBP must have the fitting conventions set up and officers must tail them," Thompson disclosed to ABC News. While there is no reason for endeavoring to bring illegal substances into the nation, it is totally certain from the video that there were various disappointments in judgment and methodology that prompted the silly demise of a 16-year-old kid. CBP must guarantee that such a disaster never happens again. After the teenager's demise, an examination was directed which cleared the officers of any wrongdoing. The two officers denied advising Velasquez to drink the meth and the official report called it a mischance. What you see, I believe, is an essential absence of sympathy and fairness toward a 16-year-old kid, said Jean Irda, the San Diego-based lawyer who spoke to the Velasquez family right around a pleasure that you would find in youngsters who simply pull the wings off flies gradually, a grin when he's being made a request to drink something and being placed in this position. They realize what's happening. This is an amusement in which he is being played with, Irda told ABC. In the still picture from the video beneath, we can see the officers urge the youngster to drink the meth. When he drinks it, the officers snicker and urge him to drink more. Altogether. The adolescent gulped four tastes from the jug of meth, enough to send him into heart failure and stop his heart. Minutes after the fact, he started sweating and shouting in Spanish about the chemicals and the arrangement. My heart. My heart. He shouted, records appeared. Officers held up over 30 minutes previously reaching EMTs. After two hours, he would be articulated dead. Tragically. Nobody will be considered in charge of his demise, aside from the U.S. citizen that is. In March, citizens paid for the criminal carelessness of the officers and the Velasquez family got $1 million to settle a claim. The outskirt watch issued no expression of remorse, no confirmation of wrongdoing, and the two officers affirmed that they never got to such an extent as a slap on the wrist for their direct. In what manner can the legislature permit that? It resembles, all right you can execute somebody, Reina Velasquez, Cruz's sister, disclosed to ABC News. They took him as a trick, as who cares. All things considered, that trick, he was the best individual I at any point knew.